all of you wonderful creative people here on YouTube. My name is Rio and I welcome you to my Artsy Corner. Today I have something really special for you. Let's go! Well then, today's video is going to be a uh, sort of a mini haul, an unboxing, and um, a flip through of sorts. Well, all of the above actually. So, yeah, this just recently arrived to me uh, from Netherlands. So, inside here, I have three beautiful books by the one and only Marsha Vandenberg. I've seen some of her books and collection videos of other colorists here on YouTube and I immediately loved the style. However, to me it wasn't really all that simple to acquire these books actually because for some reason Etsy is having problems with shipping to my country so I can get them from there, although she has a store on Etsy. But after I started following her on Instagram, I found out that she has a shop there. But unfortunately, that shop does not ship to my country either. Uh, so I have commented on one of her latest posts that I'm so sad that I'm not able to get at least one of her books because, well, unfortunately, she does not ship to my country. Sad face included and what do you know a couple of days later she messaged me back and said that well she could check the shipping costs and so on and so forth and well just ship them to me if I if I still want to and of course I said yes <laughs> so we started messaging one another well she calculated all the shipping costs well how much it would cost to ship those two books that I wanted to get to me and apparently I could buy up to four books for the same shipping cost, so I snagged in one more. So in total I got three. Yeah, as soon as the deal was struck, she sent them to me that very same day and ten days later there they are! <laughs> Finally arrived! Not gonna lie, I have unboxed this already just to avoid all the crackling and crinkling sounds of, you know, packaging being unboxed and so on. I just did a little sneak peek inside. So today I'm going to show the books to you, do some proper flip throughs of the said books and also I'm going to show you all the extras that I got. Well, the packaging was beautiful. Here we have some advertisement of one of her books I believe. It's like color by numbers that I didn't know. Yeah and on the other side it contains a personal note for me. Okay let's unbox this baby. Let's see. Okie dokie. Okay. So the first thing we have here are these two beautiful illustrations that came as extra addition to the books that I got. Here we have this beautiful picture of Red Riding Hood and Wolf, I believe. It comes from her book Maja's Fairy Tales. I think it is printed on hot pressed watercolor paper even. I could try and use ink tents in here or maybe my watercolor pencils. Yeah, one other extra illustration that she added comes from her mandala books. Book, I think it's volume one, the original one. Yeah, this is beautiful. A lovely mandala. And it's printed on a really nice cardstock. Cool. Love it. Actually, all of her books are, as you're going to see soon. Here we also have this small little envelope that I've already opened. It's red because I'm curious like that. <laughs> it contains these beautiful ornaments printed on a very, very 
thick cardstock. I mean, look at it. And it was a hole punched through. So yeah, I can color these and hang them somewhere. Very, very nice looking one. I love them. And the paper. Ugh. Word off. All that as an extra, just for getting her books. Isn't that beautiful? And I swear, she's probably one of the nicest people I've ever communicated with. It was a pleasure. So now, finally, let's get to the books. Okay, I'm going to take them out, move the box out of the way. There we go. Yeah, three books, as you can see. Now I'm going to show them all of you and do a proper flip through. So the first one that I got was Marja's Mandala's Volume 2. I have my eyes on this one for about a year now. Uh, like I said, as soon as I saw her books on the other channels, I was in love. Okay. Let's take a look inside. Nice cover. These books are square. I think they're the regular 12 by 12, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And the pages are perforated. Nice cardstock paper. Yeah. So once you're done coloring, you can take them out and frame them if you want. And these mandalas are gorgeous. Here we have all sorts of mandalas, actually, even the dream Dreamcatcher, here you go. Some regular mandalas, others include additional images like this giraffe here. Here you have a more usual kind of mandala, or this one. Oh. Well, these illustrations are detailed and, well, not your usual type of zen doodly pages, I dare to say. Well, some of them are, but that's the kind of zen doodle that I like, actually. There you go. Oh, this was nice. And the paper, I think this paper can literally take anything. And they're single-sided, so alcohol markers will do too. But you have to be a tiny bit careful, I suppose. Although the line art is pretty thick. So yes, that's this beautiful book here. Now, let's move to another one. Next one I got is Maja's Christmas because, like I already said before, I do not own a lot of seasonal books except for maybe two and some well, additional illustrations and other books scattered about. Anywho, this book, as you can probably tell, is Christmas themed. Okay, let's take a look inside. Oh, did you get your daddy there? Oh. And it contains, I believe, lots of different kind of illustrations. Cool. Oh, this actually looks like a postmark. <laughs> No. A stamp, sorry. <laughs> Angel. Go. And again, these are oh, artists perfect. Yeah. I think they are. And those are nice, sturdy books. As you can see, the paper is really thick. I'm even having difficulties flipping these. So, believe me when I say it, 
this page is gonna take on anything. I will definitely color in this one for Christmas. Or even Christmas in July. Is this the bear from the oil page? Yeah! Oh. Good. Oh, this is lovely. And I think I will even go and try to shade in these mandalas, which I don't usually do. But I don't know. It just calls to me. Hello, Bambi. Mm. I can picture this one already with a dark background and all. Mm. <laughs> Hope I can pull it off. So that's Maja's Christmas. So these were the books I wanted to originally get. But once she told me that I can get more for the same shipping cost, I snacked her latest and newest as well. And I don't at all regret it because this is a beautiful book. It's Maja's coloring book. I, I'm translating it correctly. Okay, let's take a look inside. Ah. And from a tiny little sneak peek that I did while unboxing this box, uh, I can already tell that this book isn't as detailed. Well, it's still intricate, but as you can see, it's not as intimidating. Uh, the line work is definitely thicker. The details are larger. It will definitely be quicker to color. But I think out of all the free books that I got, this one is actually my favorite. <laughs> Although, don't get me wrong, I love them all. Oh, such a nice pick. Uh, however, this is the type of book I would actually want to finish, so maybe I can start working on it this year even and finish it off next year. Because well, these pages look like they will be relatively quick to color. Aww. I had one of these ones again. <laughs> Cute, young butterflies. A very gorgeous book. I think her style kind of reminds me a bit of a uh, mix between Joanna Basford and I don't know, Anna Carlson? Maria Troll, maybe? But it definitely has this Joanna Basford ish kind of vibe. But I love it. Last one, yes, this is the last one. So those are the books that I got. And if you want to know more about the author of these books here, you can follow her on Instagram, Facebook. She even has a link on Pinterest. Yeah. Her books are gorgeous and she has lots and lots more. You can tell by the back cover uh, but these are the ones I wanted to get and these are the ones that I picked and once again um, I would really love to thank her for <laughs> going all the way out to send these to me I'm really 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 grateful and I'm gonna have a blast coloring in these really <laughs> This was a really, really pleasant surprise. A very, um, how should I put it, unexpected haul because I actually wasn't planning to buy a lot of books this spring. But yeah, it just accidentally happened. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that these three books are going to have a special place in my collection. That's for sure. So I hope you enjoyed this short uh, 
mini haul unboxing sort of first impression slash flip through video of mine and you will give this wonderful author a go because really she deserves to be noticed a lot more than she is because her books are gorgeous so that's it for today until i see you on one of my next videos i hope you will stay creative, you will stay arty, and have fun in every single step you take. Until next time then, ah, da!